Welcome everybody to the Indium 500. Let the games begin. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> a little bit of a delay there. Oh my goodness. And they are out of here as the Indium 500 is underway. Pretty even so far. This course here will take us to the crossroads. Oh my goodness, they've all successfully made it past the Sentinel Outpost. Will they be able to keep up the pressure? Now this is featuring the new uh, supercharged slots that are in the experimental build for No Man's Sky. So you're seeing Exocraft moving at really fast speeds. We've encouraged people from our community to uh, invest in upgrades. Whoa! And back onto the track, getting some air, dodging some obstacles. Beautiful. And we can see, oh, a bit of a crash! A little bit further back in the pack. Woo! And it is an even race up ahead. Hitting the boosters. Whoa, going over the pit. Still anyone's race. Oh, some driving error. Oh, no! Oh! That is going to be a costly one right there. As we move on and through, all of them finding unique ways around the obstacles. Beautifully done. Up on the straightaway. A bit of a commanding lead here. I'm not sure who it is inside that car. It appears to be my, well, my, my pterodactyl is in the way and I can't see who it is. <laughs> All right, now we're arriving at the first water hazard. They have to stay on the road and go through the sand or through the water. Let's see what they do. Around onto the grass. Yep, gonna opt to go around. Into the water, gonna hit some slow there. And this is where this particular vehicle could suffer. All right, looks like they're maybe debating a, a, a change of vehicle. And it's a Nomad, a Nomad being uh, deployed. They're gonna skim right over the water. Camerodactyl now urging forward. Nomad is going to effortlessly glide over the water, but the other competitors are already moving up the way on the next leg of this. Now there is uh, at least two water sections of this map. Trying to catch up with the speed demons that are up ahead. Oh! A little bit of physical contact made there between the third and fourth ranked positions. My goodness. Someone threw, somebody may have thrown out a red shell. Dodging around the hazards. A flyby. Beautiful vistas racing ahead. All right, we're gonna try and get eyes up on the people who are in first and second place. Uh-oh, here's a treacherous canyon obstacle. What will they do? They're going in and it's looking like they're gonna go right over. Oh no! And one of them topples into the pit but recovers. Making up for lost time, smashing through crystals. Uh, and this is more like a, a cross country track for this one. The courses that we'll be going to are going to be smaller than this. This is actually meant for an air course. But the drive is getting everyone used to the kind of obstacles that they can expect. Oh, there we go, through the off-road part. Hopefully they don't get lost. They've made it through. Excellent, those suspensions being worth every nanite. First place leader dashing through the canyon. Setting the pace. It is Minty, Spearmint Green Racer. Whoa, wait a minute! Oh! Kareen's off the path, but regains control. Up ahead, gliding through. Into the off-road component, and they will drift on ahead. Second place, careening on through as well. 
Third place is hanging back quite a bit at the moment. Followed by fourth, of course. These two are still pretty close together, so we're going to keep the action tight with first and second place. As they head into another treacherous series of canyons and obstacles, look out! Oh, never mind. I overhyped that. It's just a hole in one side. They just drive through. That's all right. Oh, but here we go now. A little bit of wall crawling and climbing needed for this part. Oh, in the second place. Topples down into the canyons below. That will be a costly mistake. Will they be able to recover before the second or third and fourth place? Hot on their heels now. My goodness. All right, we see someone has, has stayed in their roamer. That was technically against the rules, but uh, there also is technically not a real race going on, so we'll allow it. Oh, spin out under there. And the Nomad trying to keep its newly acquired lead over some of its competitors. First place still up ahead. As we get into another canyon run, many obstacles and a storm begins to settle in. Battle for second place is raging. First place leader looks like maybe they had a little bit of difficulty up ahead. They're not quite as far ahead as they could have been right now. Nomad slams down and glides and slides into the next position, into second place. Commands that for now. There's still a bit more of the track up ahead. We're going to cross and cut on up. Braving through. Cabradactyl braving the storm. To get us up to the first place holder currently. Ugh, go, Cabradactyl. Go. Okay, and there they are. Visibility for everyone is diminished on this track. I have run it uh, several times at slower speeds. It might affect pop-in of some of the instances that are happening here. Up in first place now, finally catching up to them as they brave the storm. Weaving around a treacherous pothole. Yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering why we, we didn't build any like more obstacles or boosts in the middle of the road, it was actually beginning to cause a lot of clutter on the horizon. It was beginning to block uh, visibility to the road. Oh, and a big crash! Into the canyon! Both recovering in pretty good time. Oh, is that another crash? Man, the visibility is poor right now. Racing up, jumping through. You can see the glow. The storm is clearing visibility. Will return. Oh, look out for the pits! What will they do? Oh, they see it as the storm clears and they careen around to avoid. Oh, a little bit of lag it's looking like. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> that is, it's a slideshow literally right now when it comes to that. Oh no! The lag may have gotten to them, they're flying off the course! Oh no, but they're able to recover. We should do animal races in relatively shorter sections of track. Yes, this is actually an air course uh, that we would normally do. But since we had everybody already in their vehicles, figured it would be a fun drive just to get them over there. The tracks that we're heading to are actually much shorter. With that said, though, we will be meeting up back at the archive for an air race. Oh, it's like a submarine. Look at them go. Making up lost time over the water obstacle here. Some time later. Okay. So, for this next bit, uh, I say we maybe we should do pilgrims. Do you guys want to do that? Personally, I, I, I like the roamers for these races, but uh, the, the bike is a bit faster probably. It is time. Start your engines. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this underway. And they, wow, they are gone off the line on our faithful Camerodactyl. 
as these high-speed bikes, faster than the rovers, are rocketing out of the side, through the canyon. Oh, no, we already see at least somebody fell through. But as you'll notice, you can actually go all the way underneath and up and through. Lovely recovery. Good use of the, of the track. All right, first place here, blasting through. Beautiful checkpoints there. Clean. Clean. The battle for first place over here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, he's going off the course. Oh, no. What well, recovers, recovers. Uh, it's kind of a shortcut. A little bit of a shortcut. That might be a penalty. If we had anything like that. Continuing around the bend, watching as they go, oh, over the next pit. It's getting physical. Oh, a little bumper on bumper action as they smash right before the next canyon jump. Anything goes. Oh, and we have a collision. We have a collision in the camp and we have a breakaway now. Going round the monolith. Oh, smashes into the side, recovers. Leaps out, smashes through the boulders and back onto the track. Distracting volleys of, of grenade launchers. Uh, fired up at the third place holder. As we round about here over the next treacherous bit of potholes. Got some sliding going on. Oh my goodness. This music's too serious. Give me this. Better. Big Blue is, like, easily the best track for any of this. All right, still a relatively close game. We've got, uh, neck and neck for first place as they scatter around. Now, this part is a narrowed road with more people on the road. This oh, no! Oh, no! Quick recovery attempt. That is going to unfortunately cost them some big time. Okay, here we are now looping around. Oh, another crash! This is a hazard here, and just like that, what was fourth place is now in second. As they are careening their way through the tracks now. On to the second leg, we are at the halfway point. Our first place leader seemingly having some trouble, having recovered, whoa, launches off the jumps. Here they go, yeah! Look at that air! All thanks to those beautiful, uh, supercharged slots that we have on the testing server here. Oh, into the canyon now. Up over the obstacles. How are they gonna handle this next one? Whoa! Skims right along beside. Oh, man! Oh, and first place has just taken a tumble into the pit after a command. Oh, and again! And third place into the pit. And just like that, at the breakaway, at the finish line, ladies and gentlemen, your winner! Oh, no! Randor in first, followed by... Uh, I believe this was Britada, followed by Matuddle. My goodness, what a race! I can't even believe that. Well done. Can we get a round of applause for our wonderful, wonderful participants? That was, that was absolutely terrific. And just like that, the first leg of the Indian 500 has come and gone. The Exocraft Pilgrim Invitational, a smashing success.